On the 2nd of May, a drone went missing, and it's just been found. But this isn't an ordinary drone. It weighs 26 kilograms, and it's the size of a car. Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning On, and this is a really strange story. But on the 2nd of May, a Latvian UAV, a drone, experimental aircraft went missing. But this isn't any ordinary drone. It's built by a company called SIA UAV Factory, and this is an experimental aircraft, a very impressive one, which can take off vertically and then fly like a plane. It measures 3.5 meters by 5.5 meters, meaning this is not your average DJI Mavic. Impressively as well, it can fly for a total 90 hours when fully fueled, and its top speed is 70 kilometers per hour. So this thing has quite a bit of flight range and hell of a capacity to do some serious damage. And that's why the public, the aviation authorities, and the Latvian public were very, very worried when this thing was reported as missing. At the time of being lost, it was fully fueled and it was being flown by the test operators to see how this aircraft could fly. They lost control and it flew off, which is a big, big concern. Firstly, as to why on earth they'd be flying a fully fueled experimental aircraft. And secondly, why it wasn't tethered. This is a vertical takeoff aircraft and so it could very easily have been tethered. Of course, that might have limited the forward flight capability, but this is about safety when the drone is the size of a car or a small boat. After flying off, they searched for it for three days. They even grounded most of the aviation traffic in Latvia, banning all instrument-only controls and allowing just VFR, where pilots are flying by visual sight, not purely by their instruments. So the skies were very empty, because effectively almost every aircraft under 19,500 feet was banned. Just up until yesterday, it still hadn't been found. Three weeks later, when a passerby noticed something rather large hanging from a tree. Yep, it's the 26 kilogram drone hanging from a tree, having crashed just the same day as it departed. Now clearly SIA UAV factory are investigating, but also so are the Latvian Aviation Authority, and rightly so, because this really could have caused some serious danger to life. 26 kilograms is a significant weight, and with that mass and volume as well, impacting a person or a car or a house or anything would have caused serious damage, and that's a worry. Why did this company not have fail-safes on this drone? They entirely lost contact with it, not just from a control mechanism perspective, but they couldn't even track it and trace it. You would have thought they'd have had some third-party redundant GPS tracker attached to that device just to cater for a complete failure scenario like this. Then of course there's the cost consideration because grounding most of Latvia's aviation traffic has a serious cost complication. It just really goes to show that private companies like SIA UAV Factory need to start working with industry leaders in drone technology because this should never have happened. Whether they can collaborate with the likes of DJI in future or Autel or any of the other industry leading manufacturers is a serious consideration because drones of that size and weight cannot just be flying off into the skies. Perhaps the drone just got sick of being told what to do. You now have 15 seconds to be quiet. Anyway, comment below with your thoughts on this story. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you weigh less than 26 kilograms and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching.